What's up Apex fans? I'm back today with some Apex Legends Nintendo Switch gameplay. And today we're back playing some ranked Check gameplay and we're off to a good start here with three kills. But before we get back to this gameplay, just let me say we're so close to 1,000 subscribers. Please hit that subscriber button if you haven't already. And that certainly wasn't a good look. I'm not sure why I decided to jump into Watson's fence there, but fortunate for me, my teammates are able to clean up that octane and we're able to move on. Next ring's fall. Need to recharge my shields. Down another one. Reloading. Charging up my shields. Replicator in front. Scanning the area. Reloading. Healing up. Eyes are open though. Reloading. I talk an enemy's life. Patching myself up. Hostel close. That's the last of that squad. His dimension's looking up. So after this successful hot drop, we're able to rotate out to the edge of the ring, take down another squad, and hey, I got 4 kills, 500 damage, and 26 RP. Certainly not a bad start to a game, but the big question is, can we move into the top 10 here and really start to rack up that RP? Ring's not too far. 45 left. Throwing thermite grenade. Frag out. You're in their sights. Frag out. We're close to the ring. Marking our surroundings. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. Enemy over there. The ring's close. So instead of chasing that squad, we decided to loop around, which worked out well. But with so many squads left and only so much space, things are gonna get crazy. Enemy over there. Hostile over there. Heard that. Let's explore this way.
Enemy spotted. Heard that. Target over there. We got this. That, my friends, was just pure chaos. But hey, if you love Apex Legends Nintendo Switch gameplay, then hit that subscribe button and come back again tomorrow. As always, I'm Mike, thanks for watching, and may all your games of Apex be legendary.